Hey guys, Joan and Joe back with another updated deck profile from Link Evolution. Ancient Gears are without a doubt one of the most destructive OTK decks around, so we'll try to blitz through this as fast as you do. Should be going with this deck, hopefully. Believe it or not, it did take me a while to get rolling with the deck. Anyone in the stream can agree that I lost quite a few times before I started winning, as going up against fully established boards or going first can be a struggle sometimes. Once we did get the hang of things though, duels ended quickly. With the update, we got two main cards to help the deck pop, and that is Urgent Schedule and Ancient Gear Ballista. Urgent Schedule is a great way to start your plays, but do remember you can only attack with machines, so if you are running other XC or Link monsters, this can be a factor. Ancient Gear Ballista is what really bumped this deck up to new heights, as it is finally a way to search Gear Town. To make it even better, it can pop Gear Town or any face-up spell to make an opponent's monster stats fall to zero, triggering that Gear Town hopefully to get you the materials you need to win. That's pretty much the game plan honestly. Go into Ballista, set off his effects, and get enough materials to try and summon one of your boss Ancient Gear Fusion. Catapult is still a card you want to see as another starter if you don't have Urgent Schedule, and we are also running Infinitrack Anchor Drill to guarantee two monsters on the field for your Ballista Summon, or any other extra deck monster you might need. Super Express Bullet Train's sole purpose is to be an extender for Link Summons, as well as its recovery effect and synergy with Urgent Schedule, so that's another new addition to the deck as well. It's really not recommended to go first with this deck for obvious reasons, but if you end up doing so like me, Howitzer is a safe bet to fall on. I did run Abyss Dweller in the extra deck, but to help you turn one I would definitely recommend Baguska if you have the materials for it. Verda Anaconda is amazing as ever and needs no explanation, but it does finally give us a better chance to use Overload Fusion this time around for Chaos Ancient Gear Giant. The replay we have coming up first was actually my first win with the deck on stream after that losing streak I started off with. While going second and landing a Nibiru is one of the more ideal scenarios for this deck, we did unfortunately have to go first in this replay so I expected the worst. Like I mentioned, Howitzer is one of my safe turn 1 plays because even though you can't OTK the opponent, you're guaranteed to at least deal some burn damage to weaken him enough for your OTK later on. Howitzer can also summon any AG from the deck, but while it's tempting to go into a reactor or dragon or something bossy, Wyvern is always a good target for searches so your next turn is guaranteed to be a kill. Later on in the video, you will see a Howitzer Suicide Crash to summon Reactor, which is a much better time to summon him. I did make this mistake a lot, but it is important to set any back row you have before you summon Wyvern as he prevents you from doing so. While you shouldn't be running crazy back row in this deck anyway, there are the common staples like Twin Twisters, Call by the Graven, and Permanence that are always worth a slot depending on your preference. I have no idea what kind of deck I face here, and I never even saw this monster before. But I did feel safe with Howitzer as his extra defensive float will hopefully defend us from losing if that situation came close to happening. Luckily for us, there isn't anything crazy to worry about, like a full board of strong monsters attacking through us 4-5 to five times, so we are in the clear it seems with even less life points to worry about and more materials to OTK with. Discarding Reactor with Twin Twisters wasn't too necessary since Ballista shuts down the opponent's attack anyway, but it does give us an extra overload fusion target. If you can leave two level 4s on the field for Dugaris like you see here now, this will further guarantee your destructive power for lethal, though it was a bit of overkill here honestly. This deck isn't too complicated to learn, the challenge is just being able to go into what you need without getting disrupted for lethal. Just a quick showcase of what to do though, so that is going to be it for me. Enjoy the video, leave some likes and comments, and stay tuned for the next deck.